Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. Today we're, we're outside the Guardian shop today and it's all up and running. Uh, I've got my stock in there, it's, uh, I've, I've put signs around spawn so people know uh, that the shop is open. Um, it'll, be, it'll be great as soon as the old Chris Kringle machines disappear and people can see in. What I do need to do now though is get three or four Guardians in the front. And as I mentioned in the last episode, that's not going to be easy and I still haven't managed to find anybody yet who's willing to risk their lives uh, in order to help me do that. So maybe that'll that'll have to wait a little bit. What I want to do today, and finish is quite a lot uh, I'd, I'd like to do today. Firstly, I want to go and check out the advent calendar because it's been a couple of days since I looked at it. I think the uh, I've done the 13th, I think the 14th and the 15th I need to have a look at. Then I need to go and uh, rob the uh, ice farm back at the base to get as much ice as I can out of that because we need to extend out the south tunnel to take it all the way down to the uh, the area where the uh, guardian farm is and I need to do the guardian temple tunnel the guardian farm tunnel and I'm going to keep it in the dark oak and dark prismarine kind of theme I've got a design in mind and I think it looks absolutely amazing but I'll let you guys decide on how good it is or how bad it is. It's, it's up to you guys, really. Uh, but I want to be doing that. And I also need to find myself a boatload of andesite because the, the nether tunnel is made primarily out of andesite and light blue concrete. So we're going to have to make some of that. And I also want to show you around the little village that's next to or behind the back of the woodland mansion because we've had a visitor and my goodness, you want to see what they've done. It is amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on and do it. Well, I was going to go outside to, to get my secret Santa, but it's dark. And I don't like the dark. So what I'm going to do to start with, I need to get myself a couple of books. I've, uh, I've lost my decent mending pick. Uh, so I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase some books. I'm going to get the... Mending book off you. Hello, fine sir. And then I'm going to go upstairs to JC's shop and buy a couple of books off her. Uh oh. That's a bit weird. I couldn't get in. Hello, gentlemen. I'm breaking. Do I need. I uh, probably need unbreaking, don't I? And then I'm going to need... Going to need... Oh, please tell me you've got one. Oh, no. No, really? Oh, that's... That's a shame. I need Silk Touch. Really need... I really need Silk Touch. Potion dude, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> so that's a problem. Maybe, maybe I'll have to go elsewhere to find a, uh, a <laughs> silk touch book. Then I should have looked at this, shouldn't I, before I started? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have one. <laughs> Three many books there. <laughs> Three many books there, and I've just bought another one. Genius. Rose, you are genius. Let's put that back. Anywho, oh yeah, I was going to put that stuff on my pick, wasn't I? I've got to find a... Got to find a silk pick before I start digging about and doing stuff. So we've done that. I'm going to go to sleep upstairs, uh, uh, downstairs, actually. Can never pronounce it properly. I apologise to everybody, uh, including uh, including Dreamer. Re is it Riyokan? Riyokan. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and have a, a, a night's sleep in there. So I've got to take my shoes off. Can't go in one of these without taking shoes off. So I put my shoes in there. Jump in here. Go and have a sleep. Beautiful night's sleep. I'm sure I've heard her call it a Riyokan. Riyokan. I apologise if it's wrong. I'm sorry. Now I can run outside and have a look at the uh, uh, have a look at my secret Santa for today. Oh, my advent calendar! Sorry, not my secret Santa. My advent calendar. We've got to sort out our secret Santa. 
Might do that today, a little bit of it today. So we did the 13th in the last episode, 14th magical reindeer food. Fantastic, and we'll do the 15th. Yay, Christmas stockings to hang, hang outside my uh, my chimney. Thank you. Thank you, JJ Wild. Thank you, everybody, for making this place fantastic. Now what I need to do is make my way back to my base. I believe. Which is over this way. So I'll uh, I'll fly over there and I'll join you when I get there. Okay, so I've made it back to the uh, the mansion and I've rifled through all of the chests we've got and uh, and it turns out that Smurfy, bless him, has managed to hoard a few books. I know he's not been here for a while now. He's not been here for a long while, uh, but he's uh, he's hoarded a few books and one of them was a silk silk touch book. So I've borrowed it. Uh, so I've put that on my uh, I put that on my pick and uh, and all's good with the world but what i wanted to show you is this now i had a message from spider a while ago she made a video on it go and watch spider web ninja go and, and uh, subscribe to her channel watch her videos she is awesome she was uh she's done some interior decorating for me now i originally thought she was only going to do one house but she's done them all she's literally done all the houses in my village i didn't give her a lot of space to work with either but she's, she's done every house. Look at that. Brilliant. Fan art. Love you guys. I mean, this is this just it's just brilliant. I just love it. The amount of room she's got to work in. I couldn't do it. I built the houses. I had got no idea what to put in them. Spider comes along. And within a day, they all look a million dollars. They are brilliant. Honestly, she's a genius. Genius home decorator. I didn't, I didn't know this was here. Every room. Look at this. Anyway, I'm blown away, Spider. You are amazing. We are so lucky to have you on the Alpha Craft server. Uh, better close the doors, though, haven't I? Uh, she'd done that one already over there. I think we, we saw that one a long time ago. Uh, but my new house, the last one we built, uh, she's she's done that one. This one, this was the first one I built. She's done this one. She's just she's just phenomenal at doing it. Thank you, thank you, Spider. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What I want to do now then is I was going to pop down into the mine uh, because I need some more. Need some more andesite for the tunnel, like I mentioned. Uh, but let me go down to the mine and show you, actually. Show you the, the, the problem I have down there. If you've not seen the, the lift at JJ and Wild's place, you want to check out their videos as well. Go and check out them all. Check out all the alphas. I shouldn't be having to tell you. They're brilliant. Go and, uh, go and watch all the videos. But it's much, much better than this one. This just goes from one floor to another. The one at JJ and Wild's base goes to multiple floors. It's uh, it's brilliant. Right, so this is my problem down here. You can see top right hand corner now. You can see the map of the area. And you can see that Smurfy, bless him, during one of his many, many streams has mined this place to death. Literally, look at the amount of work he's done. Pokey holes and... And runways and things. I mean, if if there's anything left here, then well, there's there's going to be no good stuff. I might be able to have a way with all of the andesite, but if I do that, then maybe I'm just I'm just going to make a massive hole down here. It's going to turn into a massive mob farm. So I don't think I'm going to be taking andesite from down here. It's been so long since I've been down here. I don't. I've, I've forgotten how. Absolutely massive. It is. Look at the amount of work he's done. He's a, he's a machine. Absolute machine. Anyway, so that's my problem. I'm going to have to go and find uh, somewhere else. Somewhere, nowhere near the base where I can 
uh, just dig out a load of andesite. I was kind of hoping it would be in a mountain range or something. I could dig it from the surface, but flying down here, I didn't see anything. So I might have to do a little bit of digging. There were... Hmm. I'll leave that uh, for, for just now. We'll go to the uh, go to the ice farm. And I'll start breaking a, a few bits of ice because I need to... I need some ice anyway for the shop uh, and for the tunnels in general. But uh, I'll go and break some of that. Now I've got my silk pick. I can go and do that. So here we are at the uh, the ice farm and the snow making machine. I don't have a shovel. I can't show you that working. That's brilliant. It's one of my designs from years ago. Still works a charm. Still makes the stuff. We've got uh, we've got an ice box there full of ice. So I shall fill that up and then replace it all. So I'll go and replace it all. Now there's nothing more satisfying than breaking ice. I don't think. This would be great if I'd got efficiency, wouldn't it? If I'd got efficiency five on this thing. I bet there was an efficiency five big uh, book back in Steiner's place, but hey ho. So all this will fall down onto the floor and then get picked up by hoppers that's underneath the ground there and then it'll get taken down there into the chest. And then when I turn it back on again, the daylight sensor is going to activate this and it'll start producing more ice. But you don't want to know about that, do you? You've seen that already. So I'm going to do this uh, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've been out and got myself a decent stack uh, of andesite. Uh, and so I've got that. I've also forgotten I needed some snow as well. So I've had to come back to my snow machine, started getting some snow. Turns out I did have a shovel on me all the time. I just don't look, do I? A man look. I think that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it anyway. When you look, but you don't look. Do you? Anyway, my shovel's there. And this machine is awesome. So I'm just going to stand here for a few minutes, collecting up some snowballs. I'm not sure why, Mo Yang. Why do snowballs only stack in 16s, but snow blocks stack in 64s? Don't quite make a lot of sense, does it? Everything else is so lifelike in the real world, like, like blocks that float in the air and everything. But you can't stack snowballs in more than 16s. Anyway, I'm going to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm going to whiz down to the tunnel. I'm going to start digging it out. That's going to take me days. So I might see you in a couple of days. So I've got all my stuffs. I've got my uh, I've got my snow. I've got my ice, and I've got my andesite. Uh, and now I just need to grab my trusty pick. I've just been to the end farm to uh, to get the pick repaired. So I'm all repaired up. Just got to start digging all this out. But I'm not going to show you that. We'll have a look at it when I'm done. So this is the tunnel that leads over to the Guardian farm. Uh, and as you can see, we're 780 or so blocks out. So I've extended the south tunnel out to about 750 blocks, which has taken me ages and ages. It's still not finished. I've still got a, a few more bits and pieces to get. However, just got some really exciting news. I've been, uh, I've been called by, by some of the alphas over to the Christmas village because we've got a new alpha. We've got a new alpha. The Bunny Bond has joined the server. For anybody that doesn't know, Buddy Bond has joined the server, joined Alphacraft. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to don my Christmas jumper and I'm going to head over to the Winter Village with a few other Alphas and we're going to meet Bunny over there and we're going to do a little bit of building in the Christmas Village.
Oh, what a fantastic day. That was superb, wasn't it? We've done a load of work here at the Christmas Village. Let me get around the front so you can see it. So as well as having a, a new member of Alpha Craft, we've got a new, new Alpha who's joined us. Bunny Bond is the new Alpha. Isn't that superb? And we've got the keys. Look at those. Got a couple of drummer boys. Nutcrackers or whatever they call, they're called JJ and Wild, Superb and myself and JC have made these wonderful little market stalls. They're superb. We're going to get some, going to get some citizens in there soon, get some little market stall holders in there. We've got bunnies already built, a load of presents to go around the tree. This place is looking fabulous. I think it's superb. So you'll have to let us know what you think. But I'm thinking it's looking pretty darn awesome. So thank you for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to check out all the alphas. They are all fantastic. This is Fully Off, and I'm out of here.